Hey, how you doing? Welcome to this ultralight um, tutorial. And I just wanted to um, really do another tutorial on ultralight because I wanted to talk about ultralight and how awesome I still think it is. I still use it. And you can see on the right hand side here, if I click the little pro button, this little button down here in the right hand side, you will see that I have not got the pro version. Um, and this is still the free trial version. Now I'm just gonna quickly go through why I think it's so awesome still. If I go to presets along the bottom, this is where we've got our library presets, edit and save, very self-explanatory. Left-hand side, you've got library, center, where, I, where I'm at now, you've got presets. Then you've got the edit function, I'll talk about that in a minute. That's where all the sort of stuff that you can do happens. And then we've got the save, and remember this is a free version as well. So on this left-hand side, these are just presets that I've created myself and I've saved myself so they're my favorites you'll see you'll see on the second row my favorites has a gray rectangle around it just to show that the presets that I'm using is my favorites and then the next one along is nature my nature's already active but my favorites always stay where they are we can just go along and select any of the presets and then if you want to edit the intensity of the presets the slider just above you just increase, slide your finger, increase or decrease. I'm using this on an iPad, by the way, so it's got an awesome iPad app, as you can see, and the phone app is just as good. And then we've got, you know, just different presets as we go along. Here we've got the portrait presets, and you can see at the bottom, portrait one, two, three, obviously relevant for portraits. And then we've got the film look portraits, and then again, you can select any of these. So you don't have to go along tapping the gray tabs. You can just go to the home button on the far left-hand side, and you can slide along all of the free presets. You can just swipe along and it will change um, from, you can see the names at the bottom of each thumbnail will tell you what type of preset that is. The great thing about this is the edit function. So again, we've just opened up a new menu structure and in each gray tab, as we go along the second tier of tools, um, different tools will open. The first being the sliders, the black shadows, midtones, highlights, and whites. And we can just slide up and down to change these. And let me just make some um, adjustments as we go along. And then next along, we can go to the saturation and the warmth and coolness or the temperature of the image. And you can see left hand side, um, it's got temperature. So if we want to go make it more blue, we go up to the left hand side. If we want to make it more warm, go up to the right hand side. But if we want to sort of focus on saturation, we go up or down and then um, desaturate left or right, desaturate warm right but down so you get this type of feel and then we go along to the color wheels so we just adjust the colors and then we go along and we use the hue saturation and luminosity sliders so this is where we can change the hue saturation luminosity of individual colors and then over to the right hand side we've got clarity sharpen emphasize and noise we can add noise to the image if we want and then we've got the vignette just simply done on a wheel darker vignette here and then we can lighten the vignette up if we wanted to, this sort of area. And then now we've got, what we've got is these overlays. So we can just add overlays to, and it just adds a nice overlay and we increase the intensity or decrease the intensity with this little slider on the right hand side. And there's lots of different overlays that you can add. Over here on this left hand side, you see we've got this exclusion and all this exclusion is, is just the blending mode. And it just says exclusion because that's where we're at at the moment. That's the blending mode that we're using at the moment. Okay. Rush on the right hand side. I suppose this is where the free version gets let down. There's no way. See this pore on this left hand side here. So yeah, this area over here, I'd probably like to remove that, but there's no way of me healing that. I could probably do it with a clone. Um, use a different part of the image to clone it, but it would be very difficult. And these are just local adjustments, brightness, blur. Um, you know, I can I can essentially choose a, an area of the image and just blur that part of, the, um, part of the image out. So I just made the shadows a bit blurrier and that's okay, let me click apply. And then likewise, clone shadows, highlights, smoothen. And these are a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of portrait enhancements. You know, if you wanted to um, add a glow to the face, increase the, the whiteness of the teeth and smoothen the um, the contours of the skin and all of that. That's All of that stuff is there. And then you can crop the image to the size that you wanted. So if it was for an Insta crop, you could 
um, crop it like so. If it was, I suppose the only other two things to point out are the two grey arrows at the bottom where you can undo or redo your previous or least your last actions. Um, and then the only th final thing to point out is the save button at the bottom right hand side. And you can just save over so it saves over the image in your library. You can add borders to this as well if you want to before you export it. Square, story, portrait, landscape. So yeah, there you go. This is me just bumping the Ultralight app again because I think it's an awesome app for free. So go and support the developers. Download the app. And, um, and talk about it. Am I enjoying it? Of course I am. How do I support? I'll write a review.